To Canadians with Disabilities and their Allies. My name is Brent Crane. I'm the host for the show. And today I uh, have Jeff Leggett, the Disability Action. Uh, oh, he's the actually guy of Canada. He's uh, he's the one that's uh, launched the uh, organization uh, for uh, to eradicate poverty in Canada. Uh, unfortunately, Jeff is not here uh, at this moment. Um, not sure what happened, but we're actually waiting for Jeff to come on to the show. And if for some reason that Jeff's not able to make it on today, uh, we will have a uh, reschedule for him. Uh, but, you know, to kind of continue on with uh, with the eradication of poverty in Canada, um, Neil and I uh, will, will discuss uh, this and some of that. Uh, and just so everybody knows, uh, Neil is the uh, editor producer for Canadians with Disabilities and their Allies. And it's always great having Neil with, with me on the show. Um, he does a lot of work behind the scenes here. And if it wasn't for Neil, well, this, this show wouldn't be... Now, now, now I'm your guest, Brent. Now, now, now you're the guest, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we, I should share with uh, everybody that's listening, assuming everybody's listening. Um, today, I spent a lot of time... Um, putting uh your podcast there's 32 episodes of our, our new the new show now and i put them all on spotify and i've also got them on uh apple the apple podcast thing and i'm getting them on to google podcast as well so that's amazing um, yeah, amazing. it's a lot of work too because that's like 30 32 episodes right now and it was a lot of work uh, bringing them all over so it, uh, you know that's, that's good yeah, yeah exactly and, and it basically makes uh, it more easier for people to uh, channel where they want to get their favorite podcast from and they can they can choose different avenues to get it from uh, and uh, you know they can do one or they can come to the one stop shop yeah I still I, I still like this format better I like I, I way 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 prefer the uh the YouTube because it's just yeah. it's you know you have you have the visual you know uh, having everybody on video is just another layer of uh, you know having somebody in your face actually seeing them is, is nice <laughs> really awesome. and so I, I you know I encourage people to actually come to uh, you know the YouTube and your YouTube channel and subscribe to the uh, the podcast and then you can watch watch us live video uh, and then if you want to listen to it through a podcast later on like download it uh, through uh, whatever uh, favorite uh, podcast that is available on like whatever platform it's on mm-hmm. you can listen to the audio later on and because some of these shows are actually uh, just well I mean they're all amazing but some of them are just really geared to exactly what um, people want different advocacy, like maybe they're looking at accessibility for transit, or they're talking about housing and affordability. Uh, maybe you're interested in hearing about, uh, well, I mean, I think income inequality that affects everybody, <laughs> everybody. So, I mean, that's a huge, uh, a huge issue, especially for Canadians with disabilities, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, they're living well, well below poverty. And, you know, Neil, like, Poverty doesn't need to exist in Canada. It doesn't need to exist anywhere in the world, really. It's all it's all policy driven. It's all yeah. policy. Driven. Yeah. Right. And I, I know. I mean, some people would say, "Well, it's not a systemic issue, or or it's not, <laughs> or, it's, or it's orchestrated. It's not. Or, you know, it's not that way." I mean, yeah. it happen in life, though. I mean, I, I always call it systemic because it is like it's like a system that's been. It is. Yeah. It has been designed that way. It's, it's purposeful. That's. That's yeah. the, that's why you use the word uh, systemic because it's yeah. a 
it's a purposeful thing that they're doing. Um, you know, I've said I've said before when when um, you know my first wife passed away and and uh, and I, I started to see the uh, the clawback happening on my check. I I just assumed it was a clerical error, right? Yeah, I, I had I had no idea that the the purposeful nature of the whole thing, and it, it's just crazy, right? Right? I mean, that that government would would pur pur purposely do that. But it's know. for pink unicorns because it's okay yeah. because yeah. make it so that it's an even even uh, scale across, right? Oh well, well we can do it to seniors. We can do it for here. We can yeah. Do even though, right? It's fair. Yeah. No, it's fair. I actually encourage, um, again, people that are listening, you can head over to my uh, webpage. It's uh, www.eventlegs.com. And I've got an editorial uh, editorial uh, thing about about the pink unicorns. And uh, it's a, I think it's, you know, it kind of shares my opinion very well on why claw, clawbacks are bad but uh, you know i've also uh done some um updates on my website and I've, uh, so i've included uh links to your podcast now and cool. uh yeah so we're just trying to you know do this and get everything everything connected and uh something that people can do for homework <laughs> if they're so inclined they can they can try to find your podcast if they if they look uh, if they do a, a search uh, PWD allies that's what it's under PWD allies or even just uh, try PWD podcast if you do a search like that on um, Spotify or on the Apple podcast you should be able to see uh, 32 episodes now of your podcast I'm still waiting for the Google but again, so the the search term would be PWD allies, and and you'll be able to. Oh, uh, just search for it here. So you'll uh, be able so to find it on the Spotify there. PWD allies. Let's take a look here. Okay. And I've got it now, so that if when somebody types in PWD allies, it's one of the top search results. And, and even now, uh, if you type in PWD podcast, it's still one of the top search results in Google. So um, oh, okay. I, think, I think that's good. It'll, it'll help drive more traffic. Yeah. I mean, if I go under, if I look under Google, just uh, and, and type in, uh, what would I type under there, Neil, under Google? Un under Google, if you, if you just type in PWD allies, you'll, yeah. you, you'll find it there. And also, right. if you went, even if you go on into uh, YouTube, you just type in PWD Allies, you'll get lots of results for that. And uh, but even also, if you type in PWD Podcast, you'll still get um, you'll still get uh, a hit on your podcast. So it's uh, it's cool. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's that's the whole. Uh, yeah, you can see a whole list of them there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I just typed in on some of Google and PWD allies, and mm -hmm. just kind of scroll down a little bit, and then it says YouTube, and it does uh, it shows me right on there. Yeah. It's, you know, especially right, uh, you know, right there. Yeah. Uh -huh. We'll get a million followers in no time, Brett. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah. So the uh, so which which, uh, which apps again, Neil? Are they uh, are they going to be on? Right now, it it is uh, as we speak. It's now on Spotify. I spent the whole day morning uh, putting all thirty two episodes up on Spotify, and I've also uh, linked it so it's also on uh, the Apple Podcast app. There's a podcast app on all Apple devices. So um, you'll find uh, PWD allies there, and I'm still waiting for um, final, if you want to call it final, final confirm confirmation or something from Google to uh, get get it on the Google podcast. 
Yeah. So if you load up your podcast and under if you have Apple, you load up podcast and do a search for PWD. PWD allies. P allies. A L L I E S. And as soon as you do that, it should show up. And well, golly, there. There, there you go. That. There it is. Right there. <laughs> it works. It is. Yeah. <laughs> And then you give, you give it a click, and then it says stay up, and it says right up there, it just popped up there, it says stay up to date. So you can actually subscribe to the channel and make sure that uh, as, yeah. as new episodes are released that, they, uh, that you have them. And like I said, yeah. I prefer, I, like I actually like the video format now, but you know, there are lots of people that like to listen to podcasts. Um, you know, on their headphones, uh, if they're going for a run or something like that. Yeah. So, um, you know, this yeah, they can gives, listen to it on the go. This know? just gives them an option to just do audio only if they if they want if they want to. So here's a little demo, everybody. There you go. <laughs> I. Uh, Attach the song on each on each audio clip. I just put it on the front of each audio. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's 32 there now, and um, it looks like Jeff is going to be a no show. <laughs> I wonder if he thought uh, it was tomorrow or something. <laughs> <laughs> but I like that episode where, hello everyone, but you're on air. Oh, I'm on air. Oh, yeah, I say you missed my fingerprint. And you're like, oh. Because yeah, I, just, I, just like, oh, I always do this, right? Yeah. And you know, as ironic as I was actually thinking uh, at the time, I was like, yeah, okay, he's going to point out a time and and I just literally just glanced away just for one sec. And that's all it takes, you know, and then you miss that cue. <laughs> yeah. I saw that on the news hour this morning, Neil. There was the news, the anchor. She yeah. was on, and for some reason, they do into commercial, they came back, and she's just like. Oh, wow. Like this, kind of like, and then, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go to break now. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said something to her, and I think it was the same thing. It's like, uh, yeah, hey, you're, you're on. Hmm. It's actually one of those funny, funny moments, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like blue, you know. Huh. Uh, yeah, it's um, one of those things where sometimes the guest, uh, maybe something happens, right? And there's going to be like a reschedule, and and that's you know what's going to happen today. Um, mm -hmm. We'll just reschedule with Jeff, but uh, just to kind of get everybody up to speed, though. On uh, Jeff will be talking about this when he comes on again. Um, some of it, and there's other stuff that I don't even know what he'll be, he'll be totally uh, you know, mentioning uh, regarding uh, where things are at, regarding uh, the tours and this and that. You know, I'll leave it up to him to talk about it, but uh, I know he will be touching about the, um, the Canada Disability Benefit, and I, and I did talk to our other previous guest that I had on just the other day, uh, just to kind of dive into a little bit of it. Is, the takeaway on it is the Canada Disability Benefit, um, you know, Neil, like, I mean, it should go for everybody, regardless of the age. Like, it's the, you know, the federal government, they said, oh, it's the working age, right? That's yeah. the key terminology. They love to play with those words, yeah. the word game, right? The 18 to 64. Well, okay, so what happens before 18? Like, my other guest was talking about, mm. her child is below 18, but needs needs that benefit. And yeah. it doesn't go. You have to wait till you're 18. So yeah, wait till you're 18, then we'll give it to you. But hey, when you're over 64, yeah, you won't get yeah. it either. Oh. And and the, the you know the the whole carry discussion is a, is a huge thing, right? Because you know it's one of those things where uh, not enough appreciation uh, is um, I don't know is people that just don't give the respect and appreciation for the amount of work and effort that is put in like it's unpaid labor for for the, for a lot of carriages i mean i know there's there's paid paid carriages too but 
but you know in in our guest the other other day i mean she's just a stay-at-home mother looking after her own child she's not getting paid anything for it uh she's just looking after her own child and in doing so that means that she cannot hold down a job because uh looking after her child is a full-time job and so it really does become a you know a situation where they're vulnerable they're uh you know maybe uh, more apt to be in poverty because she's not earning an in- income at at a job that pays even though what she's doing is an incredible uh you know is an incredible service it's 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 not being recognized by the government as anything important it's like well oh well of course you're going to do look after your your child um you know and and we I mean, we can all say that but the 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 problem is is she's having to look after a child at the at the, at the expense of um not being able to do anything else um you know and and i mean everybody has to everybody has to live everybody has to pay bills and if you have a child that requires a 24/7 care um and and you're it you're you're the only one doing doing that work um how are you going to pay the bills you know and then that's the uh, very very unfortunate sad part about it all because uh, you know that you know that uh individual that we we're referring to i mean uh you know she has to you know, bring up uh, i mean not just her, her child i mean as normal parents would bring up their child right i mean all the way from birth all the way until they come out and even then they stay home sometimes now because of the cost of living right mm-hmm. um and then the housing cost but when you have a disability on top of that that's um, a lot more work that gets um, put on to the parents' uh, shoulders that they have to endure every single day of their life. Um, I know I the, the guest mentioned that uh, that she's going to have to retire. She's going to have to retire and, and quit her job mm-hmm. because uh, it, the the attention they needs to be with her child um, constantly at home. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe from the time that, that the that uh, the child is actually in school. I mean a little bit of a break, but that yeah, uh, mm. I and mean, from the child, but there's still that work to do. I mean at home to, mm. to get things going, right? It's yeah, I'm, and I, I kind of alluded to it briefly uh, on yesterday's show or the last show that we did. You know, uh, again, uh, when my wife passed away, I, I never really had a chance to grieve, right? Yeah, uh, and you know because it was like I had to just throw myself I mean at at the time my wife passed away my son wasn't even my son wasn't even 5 yet um so I mean I'm like one guy um doing everything <laughs> you know for 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 a son that's not even 5 and trying to cope with grief and loss and and it, it's it's a lot. I mean, it's it's a lot. And I tried to I tried to keep up everything for about a year. That was about maybe ten months. And then I, I realized, you know what? I I really need to take a break. I really need to like refocus and and because I mean, it, it's just like you feel like you're burning your candle at both ends, and you just yeah. can't you just can't do it. I ta- I said I you know, yeah, on the other show I said it's you know that. I think people assume that you just can be Superman all the time, and I, you can't. You, you, I mean, at some at some point, something's got to. You try, you try. Something's got to give, right? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, so, and, and so that's why I just I just had to step away from my job for for about a year, but unfortunately, because I did that, I get punished for that, right? Because uh, they're they're clawing back uh, they're clawing back my survivor's pension. So, you know, for about for about a year's time, I only had uh, four hundred dollars coming in from from the provincial government uh, yeah. because they were clawing back everything, and you know that's, I mean, you know, it's a really tough 
thing to go through, uh, loss and all that and grief and then having to deal with, uh, you know, a, a five-year-old son, not even, plus my own disability and, and everything else, you know, it's a lot. It and, is, it's a lot to take on. I mean, and for, for, for the government just, just to say, oh, well, <laughs> you know, you can do it. Here's a pink, here's a pink unicorn. No, one for you, one for you, because hey, you're yeah. you're the Superman, you're the superhero, you you know what I mean? you can do yeah. everything, right? I mean, uh, yeah, clawbacks, don't worry about it. It's just a, it's just part of life. I mean, that's what yeah. you do. Right? A claw, and you take it away, give it, and take it back the other way, and yeah, like a Robin Hood. Or, unfortunately, yeah. it's it's not even like a Robin Hood though, because they don't they don't steal from the rich and and give to the poor. Oh, they they steal exactly. from the poor. They steal they from the from poor the and give to the rich. And, and and take more yeah. and more from the poor yeah. and get the yeah rich. yeah you know, but the part that really bothers me is when people are totally eligible for for that the proceeds and they still claw it off you mm -hmm. that really part of the early arts to me is that people pay in the ei ei right you pay yeah. in the ei you pay in the cpp oh no we need to claw that off you or you go to the ministry's office yeah. are you eligible for ei benefits uh no can you prove that you're eligible for EI benefits? Sure. Yeah. yeah, hang on. Yeah, I got I got a uh, dislocated disc in my back, but it's okay. Don't worry. I'll hobble down there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always I, I'm always really careful when I when I uh, do emails and or tweets and stuff. I, I try to use the language that they you know the government okay. themselves use all the time. So you know they like to use things like targeted wraparound supports you know oh. like like our social social network is providing targeted wraparound supports you know and and so i'll throw that in their face and say well you're just clawing back my my pension which is a targeted wraparound support <laughs> you know yeah and it's like you know so they can they can spout all these all they want about targeted wraparound supports and aren't we wonderful but then they're invalidating a perfectly a perfectly good uh, targeted wraparound support and saying, "Oh, that does that doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll we'll get rid yeah. of that. We'll get rid of that one because it's not it's not really a targeted wraparound support. It's not really it's not really one. Or it's not it's not, a, it's not a di or in other words, a dignified. It's, it's, it's not it's not it's not, it's not important. You no. you you don't actually need it. No, you don't need to have a dignified life. I mean, yeah. you only fancy words and words yeah words. but what what comes out of the words i mean there's always the talk where is the action it's always nice i mean i could say hey uh yeah neil uh yeah the next step but we're gonna actually gonna put this into a radio station are we when brent no but we're gonna do this when? <laughs> we're gonna do this when but yeah that's what i'm gonna do like okay like action action yeah. action speaks volume like words well yeah they can mean anything and i'm not picking at any specific uh, you know politician here in general I'm just saying in general like when you're gonna say something do it like if you're gonna promise a county disability benefit over a thousand days now mm -hmm. like I mean make people wait now 18 freaking months a year and a half like oh my gosh mm -hmm. and, um, and now I hear that it may not be as much as what originally was quoted yeah I could be, I could be wrong on that and Anyone watching this, I hey, I'm not going to rain on nobody's parade here, but I just have a feeling. I just have that gut instinct, and if I'm right, we're really going to have to push. In the meantime, I want you to push. Actually, better yet, you know what? I want you to all push your local MLAs, your MPPs, your MPs, and tell them what their government is going to go and do is going to go and base it up on the MDM right mm -hmm. so that's going to be a lot lower it's going to be a kind of equivalent to what seniors levels at and i can tell you seniors level for uh for income it's not it's well below poverty uh, the so-called poverty line not poverty line it's just a it's a make-believe one of our guests talked about that uh, uh recently that we had on um cheryl hardcastle mm -hmm. that poverty line it's it's not a lot it's just a thrown out number call it something i want to call it a livable income a livable income where it's now up to a level where it's going to cover 
all your your basket goods and services. I mean, extra cost with disability related expenses. I mean, if you want to use it for vitamins, you can buy, use it for vitamins, uh, iron supplements, whatever it is. If it's diabetes uh, uh, medication, whatever it may be, uh, new uh, new scooter or uh, adaptive technology of more um, a screen reader. I mean, there's so many things that people need. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, like it's endless, right? And it needs to be enough because that level, when they came up with CERB, everybody, um, that was the bare bone. That wasn't including if somebody has a disability related cost. That's just the bare bone when they came up with that in 2020. Mm-hmm. In 2021, the LICO formula was 20, 20, 2202. We're in 2023 now, and, they, and the feds haven't even come up with a formula for this year. So if my calculation is right, 2000, 2202, 24, 26. We're probably looking around $2,600 here. The average PWD rate in Canada right now in Ontario, what they got a $50 increase, I assume, like that, mm. um, or 5%. I mean, wow, like it's so low and it should be a hell of a lot higher. Um, I know a lot of people are calling for double ODSP or triple in some cases. Now, you tie people's rent to rent years of income, you get everybody that. And okay, so now they got more money in their pocket. And also put it up to a livable income. And have that, that Fed I don't know, I mean whenever that Fed program comes in, it's just gonna be a top up to um, up to the maximum level. So it'll be that plus the maximum level which will equal. It won't be and I know at one time we talked about this on the show at the beginning and I, I had the um, I had the thought that Okay, they're going to give this plus the feds are going to give this. Wow, you're going to have over three thousand dollars a month at first. And someone said, No, no, Brent, no, 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 that's not how it works. In reality, it should be because of cost of living. But the feds are never going to be that nice. I mean, if they were that nice, they would have come up with the Canada Disability Benefit when they first announced it. Well, you know, and another, another small thing that I don't think gets enough airplay too is uh, remember that. Um, when they're putting when they're putting together this uh, CDB, and, and they're like, well, how do we de- how do we define disability? And remember that, and yeah. and it's remember like, COVID. and it's like you know, you have like there are perfectly good definitions out there, <laughs> you know, the um, the CRPD being one of them, and. Mm. And you know, it just bugs me. Like, um, I'm big on definition, and I, I I hate it when government says, "Oh, we don't know how to define something." You know, they yeah. they know darn well how to define something, and it just bugs me I, again to just uh, quickly go back to to a, a pension thing. You know, it, a pension should not should not change its DNA, like. A pension is designed, like from That's, from the ground up, yeah. as as a targeted wraparound support, right? And it's protected income. So you're going to tell me that um, you know in the um, in the Ministry of Labor, uh, a pension is is something that's respected, but as soon as it crosses the floor over to the Ministry of Social Services or Social Development, it suddenly becomes something defined totally different. That's what I mean. It's magic. They, 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 they yeah. Can do and and I, like that to me doesn't yeah. get enough right. airplay either where they, where government seems to struggle with definitions like, well, you know, on, on this side of the fence, um, you know, we'll define disability or a pension as this. And if yeah. you're on this side of the fence, disability and a pension is this. Yeah. It's a pink unicorn, yeah. you know? Yeah, and we'll, it, call it, we'll call it something different on this side. But, you know, it, should be, yeah. it should be the same all the way it, across. It, it shouldn't matter which side of the fence you're on. You know, yeah. a a pension is a pension and a disability is a disability. Like, exactly. it doesn't go away. <laughs> find, find a definition that works for everyone, not yeah. not one that has like Let's have seven different definitions of disability or seven definitions of a pension, you know, and, and, you know, if you, if you don't have a disability or if you're not on, if you're not on income assistance, then a pension means this, 
you yeah. know and, and and if you are on, if you are unfortunate enough to be on disability assistance then a pension is this it's useless it's a pink unicorn you know and yeah. and yeah, and it should be defined the same for everyone i mean that's that's what equality is that's what we're fighting for equality rights right i mean a quality of definition a quality of purpose like a the purpose of a pension is to be a wraparound targeted support just because i'm on disability assistance doesn't mean that it suddenly becomes invalidated and it suddenly gets defined as something else it's still right. a, it's still a pension it's still targeted wraparound support well, and then, well, and that's the that's it. The, on the Neil is um, the government have they seem to have that status quo. They just because it's worked, it's always worked that way. They don't want to change. They whoever designed or gave them that mindset idea, and they just keep going with it. And, and people tell them, no, no, like this is not okay. And they go, ah, you know, no, this has always worked. So they keep just, going with the just same. Just throw area. another pink unicorn. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. pink unicorn. It's working this way. We don't want to change it. No, no. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Our computer system, it was designed, it was last updated on in, 20, in 2002. Hey, no, no, we need to keep it that way. No, now they admit that, hey, it's so old. And, and, we, and we can't pay out the checks because it'll break the system. It'll so break the system. It'll so we have to wait. If, we, if, yeah. if it, we go too fast, it's going to break down the system. Yeah. It wasn't designed, really. And that's like the bus pass. It reminded me, oh, well, they, the, the previous government, they dismantled the bus pass system. No, 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 no. Yeah. I've been working with computers since I was a kid, and I tell you, I used to take them apart, put them back together. Oh, well, okay, this ribbon has to go here, connect it here. Oh, where does the disk drive go? Connect it here. Screw it in. You that, yep, screwdriver, putting it in. Oh, now I got to program it all. Oh, what do I use? DOS. Wow. Yeah. You know what's the amazing part is a lot of these systems were still archaic, they're operated by DOS. Yeah, that's true. it's actually it's actually a really good. Um, I used ICU. to I used to love DOS. I used yeah, to I used to play with actually, the DOS all the time. I, used to, I, used to I used to loved it. Batch, yeah. Batch files, batch yeah. Files, this equals this, and then you have to make sure. Oh my gosh, why didn't it do this? I'd make it so my computer would restart by itself. And, oh yeah. This 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 will tell you how much of a geek I I am, is that uh, as soon as um, as soon as uh, Windows. 1.0 was released on store shelves. Ooh. I went out and grabbed it. I was like, wow, this is amazing. And I, I put it in, and it's like, this kind of sucks. It's like, all, all it was was like solitaire. And immediately I just yeah. booted back to DOS again, <laughs> you know. But I, I still had to... I still had to try it, right? Because it was just like this this newfangled thing. It's like, oh, I'll try it. I'll try this Windows 1.0, right? Yeah. And, well, it's uh, funny. I'm sitting in DOS here, and I had the little prompt plot Clink, 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 clink. <laughs> well, how do I get back in? And the batch file I made it, 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 uh, it was some kind of error, and I forgot to put this other semicolon in. And I thought, oh no. So I had to get another. I was able to mirror it over to another computer that I had set up there. And so I was able to use the uh, another software where I could actually access and actually go in. And actually, it's, uh, they, a lot of the telecommunication companies, they can actually do that too. You give them a certain code, and they can go in and work on your computer. So I was using my other computer I had, I had bought. It was an older one, and I gave myself the command to go in, and I was yeah. able to, and actually fix the problem. And I used I, I used to love doing that. I, I I worked I worked for uh, the um, the Royal Bank of Canada for what was it five or six years as a um, as a tech support analyst. And I would just remote into into people's PCs, like uh, yeah. you know, people people on the branches. Like I was in I was in Vancouver, but I would be remoting in like all across Canada, like all yeah. all branches right across Canada. We would just, I just remote in and find something that was wrong and fix it, and then it's like, okay, you're done, and I would come, you know, pop out of it, and it's like, see ya. <laughs> it was really cool. I, I really yeah. I love that job. That's great. Because I, I used to love working, doing like, doing that stuff, eh? And um, I then I, I uh, got to know this one uh, guy. He was uh, he did a lot of graphic design, and so I was at work one day, and I said, okay, like here's here's the command code, and he says, you know, I, I trusted the guy to go in and work on my computer, and I said, hey, if you screw up my computer, man, 
uh, you know, he's still full of viruses or something. No, no, don't worry. Like, it's fine. Yeah. So I came back and it was like a brand new, almost like a brand new software all embedded on my computer. And he had, he was in, um, oh, yeah, he was in, uh, what the tank, I believe it was. Mm. Um, was. Yeah, and he had done it remotely. And uh, yeah, and he come in all new graphic design. And uh, he had put installed a brand new version of Windows on my system, an mm-hmm. updated version. I was like, wow. And he, and he a little comment had popped up there. It was, it was like, this was waiting for me. And I clicked on it and it said, you're welcome. Have a great day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it says, you, 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 it says, you, owe, you owe me a lunch, by the way. <laughs> I'm like, oh, <laughs> today, but just kidding, right? But yeah. it was like amazing on what, um, that software does. I mean, mm-hmm. there's different ones, but it was one that they used um, precisely. It was uh, it's called Backdoor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was actually a really good one. So Did, companies have you ever them. used? Uh, have you ever used like Jaws, Brent? Do you know what Jaws is? Have you ever used it? Um, it's uh, geez, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's an old that's yeah. an old uh, software, but I just was yeah. pretty curious if you've ever come across it yourself. I um I do recall um, using that one many years ago. I, I used uh, backdoor a lot though. That Jaws, okay. um, and people look back too. And if I give you some kind of software one, I used to love using it. Uh, uh, Lotus, Lotus one yeah. two three. Yeah. I used yeah. that in college, eh? And I used to love doing that. I'd bring it home on my like, coffee because you'd start to say, "Well, you can use it at home if you want." Right? Oh, okay. Not supposed to because it was supposed to be <laughs> at the college. But I, I found it good because I could actually do my work at home with it and then bring it and save the copy and then put it on there and I'd continue on at the college with it, right? You know, our, our, our friend Bertie is a big uh, Linux fan. Yeah. And, and I keep, uh, when I was a lot younger, I would go out and try to, I would like aggressively try to find like a cool distro of uh, Linux. And I could never really find one that I liked. It was like yeah. you, you'd, you, they'd almost get it right, and then there'd be something stupid about this one particular one. And then you, then you try another distro, and you think, well, okay, maybe this one's good, like a Red Hat or something. And it's like this this kind of sucks. This one too. And and yeah. I, I tried about six or seven different ones, and it's like, well, they're yeah. they're almost cool, but there's always something. There was some kind of glitch. Something that a little like- stupid in there, like you know. There's something that just didn't knack on it. So I, I, I just could not get the handle on on uh, Linux. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, me too. I, I looked at uh, Linux quite, quite in depth on it, right? Different versions. And um, the one part when, when Windows, kind of talking about Windows too, is I remember when Windows 95 came out, right? I was like, yay. Uh, my, my computer couldn't handle it at the time. I was trying to do some updates to it. And I was just overpowering it, right? It was just taxing the whole machine. It was just really heating up a lot. And I was like, yeah. oh, no. And I went to a computer shop. I'm like, oh, no, Brent, don't, yeah, you're overtaxing it. It shouldn't be that hot. I go, what are you doing with it? I said, well, I got these batch files working, and it's constantly keeps on going and going. Yeah, you're going to kill your, your the uh, hard drive. And the motherboard is going to overcook it. You can overcook this uh, this motherboard. OK, well, how much is the motherboard? Uh, that one's going to cost you uh, $260. Wow. Whoa, whoa, that much. Holy. Of course, back then it went, well, that's a lot of money. Uh, yeah. But you know what? I can give you a deal. Uh, you know what? Bring it in. I can resurface your whole machine. And I'll do the whole thing for uh, 280 280 including all new disk drives. Like, I'll, I'll reflush the whole thing. Mm-hmm. So I said, uh, I'll just tell you what, just 250 250 done. And I said, all right. So I, I brought it in. I said, "Well, I've got two hundred dollars cash." <laughs> <laughs> Guy goes, "Fine, fine." He goes, "I still got to charge you the tax." So I go, "What?" Oh yeah, the tax man, the tax man, um, you know, needs. I go, "Yeah, but I've only got two hundred dollars in total." Yeah. Okay, fine. So oh wow. About on that one. So now I have to lower it down, oh, yeah. including up to that for the tax. You did well on that, then, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So I said that's the maximum. Yeah. So I was like, I've got it for a If girlfriend. we could only go back to the barter, the yeah. barter way of life, eh? We're... My gosh. And, well, you know, and I got to the um, the past. It's like um, a modem in there too. And I, I, you know, back then technology with it was awesome. Like 
I got the fit was it a 56k speed modem. Yeah, yeah. And it was a it was a fax modem and it had voicemail, everything in it. Like it was so high tech. At the time. My my first modem was a 400, 400 baud modem. It was like so slow, but yeah, yeah. yeah, I, mean, <laughs> yeah. I remember yeah. those days. And the um the uh what was it the the dot matrix printers that would geez, you could see every single dot on uh -huh. you look at the letters and there's like all these little dots on every single letter <laughs> oh, yeah that was pretty oh. bad yeah, but, I, I remember but that was back. good times though that was good times yeah i went back and like i didn't my machine couldn't handle like the windows version at the time before i had taken it into the shop right and, and of course i got this windows this this copy and i didn't know anything too much about it and they, the computer shop told me at the time well there's a mimic version out there what a mimic version of windows 95 and your machine will handle it really yeah put this in here it'll make your machine will make it look like it's windows 95 and it had all the drop down menus and oh no. wow so it's like here <laughs> then drop down again i'm like hey you know you didn't have to even go buy it and it was free software like it was a freeware hmm. and he, like he got he yeah she had it i go freeware no you had to buy it he goes, well, it's a commercial copy, but because you you uh, got your machine service, I'm pretty here, sure that would that would have been yeah. illegal though. Yeah, but he actually had said, "Well, since you serviced, you got service from here. I'm going to put a copy on here for you of it, mm -hmm. but you can't rent. You cannot make a copy of it." I go, "So it's freeware. So it's not freeware. Like you told me, it's freeware. Like, it's not freeware. You purchased it. He goes, it's now on your machine, but you cannot make." Copy. It's so if, pirated. You know, where if, if you go to if you go to your, your work and they say, "Hey, can I get a copy?" You can't give it to them. I go, "No problem." And you know, I enjoyed it. Like it was, it was like on my machine, but because he he actually put it on there for the business, mm -hmm. like he had a business copy, and to be kept safe freeware. He goes, "Well, it's free to you, but it's not really free." Mm -hmm. And of course, I can think of the freeware. So, so I'm looking at over time freeware, freeware. What? Did, but he yeah. well, wasn't free. And then I got, then I finally did the update on the uh, computer. I refreshed it, put a brand new copy of Windows on there when I was able to get it. Mm. And then, I don't know, I, over time, you know, I, the Windows, it just, I, it was good. And then they, when they, they did that latest update uh, further on, I just, uh, mm. that was just wasn't the same. Do you remember the uh, first uh, word processors that you, you had to type in the control codes to turn yep. on a telex yeah. and turn on, you know, underline, and then you had to go and turn off underline <laughs> and turn off a telex. Yep. And then there was, it was on, I had I had this one uh, word processor. It was called WordStar, and you, the, I kid you not, I don't know if you remember this. They literally had a whole sheet. It was like a huge map, and it was oh, yeah. like a, it was like um, what do they call that? Like it just. Um, a flow chart, like mm -hmm. a, a legit flow chart of like, if you are in this menu here, to get from here to here, you have to go from here to here to here to here to, and then if you want to go from here, you have to back out a certain way. Yep. It, like you, you couldn't just, you know, click and do one you and be out. You had to go, yeah, you had to go thing. in one way and go out the same way, and it was like, yeah, it was like oh. eight or nine steps of flow charts to get from one thing to the it was crazy and I literally had to put this whole flow chart thing on my walls so I knew how to get in and out of like um you know if I wanted to like I tell size something or or you know this is crazy or how about how about those green screens remember those green screens yeah. oh yeah those well so I was lucky actually because I I was able to get a an amber monitor. My first, my first computer was an amber monitor, and I felt like, I thought, wow, I, I felt so like, I don't know, just like a pig in shit. Like this is, this is the greatest thing, you know. Well, amber. Like, this green one, and then, then all of a sudden I had uh, this other one, and it was color. Like it was, I think it was like amber monitor, like, but it was all more color, like real, realistic colors. Mm -hmm. And I, and I actually had got that as an award uh, through. Uh, through the Rotary Club. Oh, nice. Yeah, I won it through the Rotary Club. Yeah, and it was, it was presented to me actually through the superintendent of the schools. And I'm like, oh, wow. 
So I had this photo taken with me holding this certificate up, and, <laughs> and I got this brand new. And yeah, I went and I used it in the school, but I could take it like to the school and back at home because they gave it to me. But and because the school didn't have it for me, so I had this one disk drive that I could just pop in, and you know, go floppy. But the this one here had the floppy and the hard disk. At the time, they didn't have those in the school, mm. so this was more you now like a super updated one. I'm like. Oh my god like wow like this was like so cool and yeah it was um i still remember that it was like the award that i won for for uh, student excellence and i thought this is so cool and, and uh the machine like at the time it was valued like it was expensive when i was checking with the computer shop mm -hmm. i said how much is this one? Oh my god what why i go because i have it no and i had yeah and so i um i had the old camera and so i took a picture of it Took it down there and said, "Look, Polaroid, you know." <laughs> yeah. Took it, what? That's at your home? Yeah. How did you get that? That's expensive. I I want it. No. I go. It would have cost you almost that two hundred store two thousand dollars here at my shop. This one mm -hmm. shop I went to. And it was downtown, and like when I referred to this one shop I used to go to, well, they went out of business, and then I, yeah, I dealt with another shop downtown, and the other guy was kind of a. Kind of a slummy yeah he turned it kind of slummy so i wouldn't get my business anymore mm -hmm. so i went down and he went out of business anyway <laughs> but i went to the other guy but then you know and i yeah it was, it was great because i got a brand new like this i saved up and um at the time well we were only allowed to make 200 dollars a month mm. yeah i remember way back then so i kept saving up saving up saving up 200 dollars and my mom wanted her her uh her friend Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, well, at the time I paid that, and I and I was working, mm -hmm. so I would save up that two hundred dollars. So I was out for you know out of that two hundred dollars for quite a few months. Mm -hmm. It saved me, cost me twenty four hundred dollars for that computer because I I wanted that computer. Yeah, but the thing is, they wouldn't let me have. They it. were expensive way back then. It was well, yeah, and they wouldn't let me have the computer mm -hmm. until it was paid off, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh man, but um, there was. There was a couple of times where uh, my mom, she would say, well, you know, you're having a hard time. She said, so she was working. And so she said, here's, here's like another hundred dollars to it. I said, no, 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 you can't do that because I have to now declare it. What? I have to declare it because that's income. So I went to the ministry and my mom had the same work and went down and she says, what are you saving up for Brent? I go, computer. Well, you're allowed gifts, so you know what, like, if you know, you're supposed to declare it, but you know why we're not going to take that on. You're saving up, I said, it's for me, like, the better for me to make it more accessible, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. and then, so I had to argue with them, because they were saying, well, technically, if that's classified as unearned income, we're going to have to claw that off your check. And my mom goes, are you kidding me? Why are you going to claw it? I mean, I got kitty cats at home, are you going to claw, claw that? <laughs> no, it's not the same thing, it's clawing it. She says, well, technically it's clawed off, but she says, because it's actually an accessibility uh, device that you're saving up for, we'll make an exception for it. And they had this other, um, something within the ministry. She said, if you need an accessible device, we can actually help you. And I went, wow. And um, so she said, well, okay, well, I'll talk to some worker. And she says, well, uh, you could probably get that through, um, through the college too see what they can do but the ministry managed to do something i don't know i can't recall what they did but they actually said well here like uh, there was a there was a, a grants thing that they referred me to and i i got this and it helped as a like a um, 800 thing toward it and mm -hmm. so it kind of gave me a jump start on it and because they, they you know they were really uh, pickers on that when they said my mom well if you give them a hundred dollars we're going to claw that off his check he didn't uh, he's allowed 200 dollars to earn but he can't that's excessive income excessive income I'm like, are you kidding me but if you do it this way the grant we're not going to take it off like well, what's the difference and i remember that back and what is the difference yeah money, there is no money, difference but money is, no is money here like yeah like money get from one hand yeah. or the other like yeah. and so i said to the college we had a, a debate one time in the, in the class and, and so i had brought this topic up mm -hmm. and the instructor goes grant money is money does it really matter what source it comes mm -hmm. from it still is going to be the same thing and i, I don't know i don't know 
I, I, I remember, and if uh, Shane Simpson is li- listening, he'll know. I used to send him tons of anchor emails. Of my, my big thing all the time was income is income is income is income. Just as a rose is a rose is a rose, right? I said income is income is income. You can't just say you know this is unearned and this is earned. Like income is income, right? And yeah. uh, I would always just always be sending him those emails about like income is income. You well, know. I remember a time, um, like, well, I mean, everyone knows co op in BC. Like, they got co op, right? I mean, if you have membership and you do shopping there, you're going to get rewarded as a member of saying thank you for giving um, your, uh, your resources into the community. Like, and uh, it's for their ways of them giving back, the co op giving back. They give back to their members of thank you for doing shopping with us, right? Mm-hmm. Once a year. But you got to spend a little, you, you have to spend enough in order to get something decent back. Yeah. Well, my mom had a hobby farm. She had she had cats, she had her dogs, she had her birds, she had her chickens, she had ducks, she had a pot belly pig just as, as a, uh, just as a uh, pet, right? She had to put it down <laughs> and that was so sad that time. But I wasn't home, I said, I, I have to be out. So I went downtown, mm-hmm. our neighbor came over and, and uh, with the vet and uh, Basically, the neighbor, he was a he was a big burly guy. He he held down the the pig while the vet came along, and you know. Mm. Uh, but anyway, I still remember. I couldn't be around. Like it was a, yeah. they buried it. They just took the, the pig away, and mm-hmm. it was it was wobbling. It couldn't even wander. It was so mm. cute looking, cute big big giant. <laughs> it couldn't even wander anymore. Like it was just kind of really happy part of time. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, anyway, so my mom had to buy a bunch of pet food for you can imagine. I had to go and collect eggs every morning. I get pecked by the chickens. But fresh eggs, fresh eggs. She had a little, uh, little garden down back, and I had to water them. Carrots, a little and broccoli, and lettuce, and um, but they cost a lot in different beefs. So uh, you know, but she, she, you know, really balanced the budget accordingly, and she would uh, plant stuff because it was cheaper doing that way than going to the grocery store. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's how she. Uh, Learned to strip and save uh, as you know, she grew up and kind of uh, had you know hard times uh, when we grew up, but we made it through. And, and you're but, here but, now. Yeah, but I mean, but you know, but looking at it though, like she spent a lot of feed and groceries and feed for her animals at the there. So I remember the one year, Neil, she got back almost fifteen, almost sixteen hundred dollars. Wow. wow! Like it was a rewarded check. Like she got yeah. this check mail. Mm-hmm. And it said, you know, co op, and it had 1600 and something. Oh, yeah. Actually, it was, it was 1600 and a few dollars. Mm-hmm. And it was, you know, payable to her. And she's like, oh my, oh wow. She said she was so happy. And she says, you know, we're going to go out for dinner. We're going to go out for dinner. Mm-hmm. My mom didn't drive, so she says, um, she just couldn't seem to figure out how to drive. And my dad did, but then he had left when I was a kid. So my mom just would get a ride from neighbors, or she never would take a taxi. Don't refuse to take a taxi. Mm. She would not do that. Don't get a ride from a neighbor or take just a bus. because of the expense or because of some other uh, reason? I don't know. She just didn't feel comfortable taking mm. a taxi only if she really, really had to. But um, she would get a ride from a neighbor, and they would always have agreement with her. Like they treated her like family. Like they, if you need something, you come over, and yeah, they, you know. So mm. they would say, "Okay, well, we're going to give you a ride downtown or take the bus down." So we had this little restaurant just up the road, and we'd go and have a have a burger, and fries, or whatever. And they made homemade everything was all homemade, like, and it's still there to this day. It's mm-hmm. still there. I'm gonna pay a visit one time the next time when I go out. It's between Langley and Oldgrove, and uh, Hilltop Cafe. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah. and uh, yeah, they still have different owners now. Yeah, I remember um, a Chinese lady, an Asian lady, and her husband. Uh, they ran it, and uh, the cook in the back. Oh, he go oh, hello, hello, sir. I come in and she's like, oh hi, hi, hi. I go and she goes, so uh, what, what, what do you want? Uh, cheeseburger and fries? Yeah, yes please. Cheeseburger and fries. <laughs> I go what? I go cheeseburger. No, no, I don't know. Not a seaburger. No, no, it's our language. Cheeseburger and fries. I'm like, and I always remember that since I was a kid. So I go up and uh, no three cheeseburger and fries. Uh, milkshake, milkshake for you. Yes, please. <laughs> so I'd go home in a big bag and they would they'd wrap it up in um, tin foil. 
pick in tinfoil so we keep it nice and hot, eh? Mm. And it keeps the heat inside. So I bring it home and yeah, and three three orders of uh, of basically like a cheeseburger fries, and it was came to nine dollars and sixty cents. Wow! For three of them, and these were big freaking burgers. Yeah. They made them wow. And like a decent order of fries, like they were freshly cut fries, mm -hmm. so they would make them right from scratch. Uh, not too bad. The burger was good. And um, but now, now you're probably looking at a lot more. I, I would probably be shocked when I went in there next at church. <laughs> uh, know, it, I, it's almost at the uh, top of the hour. I'm wondering, do we want to treat this like a regular episode, or and do the outro, and I'll just change the yeah. change yeah. the um, thumbnail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could. I'll do change that. the th thumbnail to myself. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we can definitely do that. And, uh, it's um, looking back and mesmerizing on time, but to kind of conclude what I'm saying here is, my mom was so excited, like so she would say, "Well, like she said, well here here's the money because I mean she had got this check, but she hadn't gone to the bank obviously to cash it." So she says, "Well, can you do it?" I said, "No, no, no. I have money for my paper with mom. Like I, you know, and I, I uh, went and I went and bought the burgers. Right? I was excited for her. I was happy. I go, I'm buying it. I'm buying it. No, I'm buying it." Damn it! I said I'm buying dinner, so I'm, you know, and I gave the lady. I said, "Well, here's, you know, here's eleven dollars, right?" And mm -hmm. I'm like, "Oh no, 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 no!" And I said, "No, for my milkshake." Oh right! And she's like, "Why did you give me eleven? So this needs sixty, but the milkshake was more." I mm -hmm. said, "Well, keep the, you know, keep the change, right? Like, here's a little tip for you." And mm -hmm. the milkshake was only like dollar fifty, mm -hmm. you know. So I said, "Well, whatever." I just gave her eleven. And that time, I mean, the value for a dollar, Neil, like, wow, you could get a lot more. You could. Well, yeah. A lot more. Yeah. But I looked back at it, and my mom was so happy. She said, well, but I need to go down to the bank tomorrow downtown. Do you want to come with me? And I, I have to go by the ministry office to do senior stuff, and I have to submit this in. And so she went down to the ministry's office, and I know where it is. It's right still in the same spot that it is today. So if I were to go down there... Right, yeah, right. It's right on, uh, right on Glover Road. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, right on Glover Road there, downtown Langley. And so she went in and talked to the worker. And you know what she was told? We're going to be clawing that off you. Yeah. Every single penny. That's crazy. Off her pension. Just, mm -hmm. I earned it. Like, I mm -hmm. paid money into it. It was right, but it wasn't employment income. It wasn't employment income, the, work, the worker said. Just, I've worked. She said, no, look, Missy, I've worked since I was a little girl. Don't you tell me. Like, she was running circles. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. They, they said, we don't make exceptions for one client. Sorry. Like, I mean, I'm a senior. They treat me with, you know, I said, can you treat my mom with a little bit of respect? And I want to start buying, like, little stuffies that are pink unicorns. Like, little, you know, yeah. any, like, little stuffed pink unicorns. And just, like, have them in my, my, my pocket and just, like, throw them at you know, it's like, yeah, yeah. They'll, say, they'll say unearned income and I'll take the pink one. Oh. <laughs> unearned income. Boom. Oh. That one. <laughs> oh, that one. Oh. <laughs> you know, and it just, so it really saddened me, like even then, like, and that's really affected my mom's life. Like it really, um, she, cause she had gone, like she'd gone to England, like, and, uh, we, but we had to do a fundraiser. We fundraised to save it up for her. She was going to use that toward money she had already saved up and it wasn't enough. So the neighborhood did a fundraising. We had a barbecue. Oh my gosh. They did a fundraiser. And But the ministry was no, they had no problem with that because it was a gift. Mm, yeah. It was a gift. A gift. As long as it's, as long as it's charity, as long yeah. as it's charity, and, they have no problem. Right. They have no <laughs> problem with it. But, but because, uh, because she, had that given for her in her name. Oh. Yeah. So and, uh, and that that goes back to the whole thing of uh, you know awesome. this money is this money's okay, but this money's not. You know, like the, they label different monies. You know, it's like, that's and that's that, that's oh. what I mean about income being in, income being income. Like, money is money is money. Like, just treat money as money, and don't don't say don't categorize this and say this is a valid income and this is a valid money and this is not a valid money. <laughs> you know, and it just, it's totally nonsense. It's just ridiculous. And that's one ridiculous. thing that my mom had always taught me uh, on her, 
on her on her deathbed, should we say, because she was in a senior's home. Like we essentially we had to put her into a senior's home because she lost her home because the owner the owner's siblings had ownership of it, but they claimed they were going to be moving into it, and they never did. They actually rented it out for higher rent. Mm-hmm. So my mom lost her home, and I said, and then we went to arbitration, and uh, the arbitrator said, I said, for God's sake, can you just allow her to live in her home, even though it's technically not her home, she doesn't own it. Mm-hmm. But they, but I said, their father, I said, God rest his soul, I said, he would be so mad. I said, so mad with you, your daughter's friend. How can you talk that way? I go, because it was an agreement that my mom had with yes and with with her father and said she can keep living here as long as she is able to until she needs to go into a home mm-hmm. and i said right now you're going to escalate it more she's going to end up going into a home because now it's like her sense of value is now going to be completed down and they didn't care like mm-hmm. and what it was i found out they rented the home out for oh my gosh over twelve hundred dollars a month and that was back in 2000 and 2003 mm-hmm. yeah and it was right around 20 years the, like 2002 2003 and mm-hmm. it was right around the time that they had the freaking bus right and it was oh. the same time that the government decided to start trying to figure out ways of cutting back on pwd mm-hmm. so i was going through a double whammy i was dealing with my mom and her issue that she had got an eviction notice mm-hmm. and dealing with my situation of saying oh well you need to now be reassessed yeah oh, for god's sake i've already yeah. medically assessed by my doctor and he lost it he kind of yeah. words that came out of his mouth you know? thanks gordon oh, campbell yeah. thanks yeah. gordon campbell you know but the thing is i you know when i said to my doctor well who like who, who's doing this oh he says oh it's, it's that damn bird man you know, the name stuck in my the feather man and I thought, oh, and then of course, I mentioned this in our meeting I had with the, the minister just recently with, with Jeff and Sonia and myself. And I mentioned about, because she said when the system was last updated, it was in 2002. Mm-hmm. And I went, oh, she said the previous government, it just, it was last updated. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I said, I told the story like I'm saying now. And I said, oh, I remember that year. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was the year. And she goes, I'm so sorry, Brent. I'm so sorry. I go, yeah, like it caused me a lot of a lot of grief, and at that point, I decided that yeah, like going forward, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tolerate any BS. Like I'm gonna say how it is, and um, yeah, yeah, like my mom has taught me, stand up for yourself. If you don't believe in something, something's wrong. Mm-hmm. Say what's wrong. And, uh, yeah, and I think I think that's important. Like I used to. I used to just kind of put up with stuff, right? And 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 now it's like, you know, I think I think once I got into my early thirties, you know, like, like we talked about on the last show, is like, yeah. you're, you're always trying to prove yourself more yeah. if you have a disability. But then you get to your <laughs> early thirties and that, and then I kind of had a an awakening and realized, you know what? I don't really care if if people don't like me. <laughs> You know, yeah. it's it's yeah, like yeah. if if you don't like me, that's fine. And popularity. and, and, and if, if I if I if I piss people off, that's fine too. I I don't really care anymore. I'm I'm not about I'm not about to, I'm not trying to please people anymore. You yeah, know, not here for fav- favoritism. No. Yeah, just say say how it is, and if mm-hmm. people people will take you for who you are, it's like me, same thing. They, yeah, they if they don't if they don't like it, if they don't like it, you know, tough. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the yeah. way I look at it too. Um, and you know, I found that over time. I mean, uh, someone said, "Oh, you should connect with so connect up with so and so," and I'm like, "Well, that so and so blocked me." Mm-hmm. You know, and you know, it, whatever. It, you know, you know who you know what I mean. But it's mm-hmm. like whatever. Like that's not my problem. Like I said how it is, and uh, if people don't like to hear what I say. They don't. They don't listen. Like, mm-hmm. and I'm not. And I'm not going to pretend that i know everything because i don't i learn like and that's what my show is about too is like bringing people on lived experiences i actually am learning like i'm actually learning how mm-hmm. held a lot from people things that i didn't like didn't really know a lot about like i've heard about but on different advocacy on different things about learning and that's how we all network together is because we learn from each other mm-hmm. and it's like when i have a i call him laughing tom tom that's why i just say laughing tom because i i 
I uh, enjoy having him on and about basic income and mm-hmm. he's on you and I say laughing Tom because you're he's energetic he mm-hmm. um, he gets it he's like just give everybody a basic income already and mm-hmm. I've been hearing some few little uh, ripples on Twitter about basic income lately about the GOBI one of the uh, I think it was one of the MPs had mentioned it. I'll see if I can pull it up but yeah I think there's something that's brewing I don't think they want to admit going on there so but hey never know we only have to wait another thousand days maybe and then they'll come up with a a glbi yeah eventually yeah but then you know they'll say oh now we got to study it and you know we got to study it (laughs) well because because we didn't get it right then we got to boil the water brent we got to boil the water gotta put the boil it it's spaghetti here we gotta throw the water (laughs) You know, you told, you, you told me to put the noodles in. Damn it, why didn't you do it? Well, I, didn't, I didn't know you wanted me to do that. Now we got to wait over a thousand days. Oh, now the water's no good now. I said, oh, that's stale water. <laughs> Dump it over, redo it. Well, but, I, yeah. I've got a boogaloo here, Brent. i got to do okay. my uh, my chores and stuff before uh, errands, before my wife comes home. So. Sounds good, sounds good. So i got a but, blast. Yeah. But this so is a good I, impromptu I, session. This, so is, this is pretty good. Like I'll say, I'll I will change the thumbnail, so it's not confusing for people. Right. But, uh, so people yeah. uh, were they were they talking about their guest that was supposed to be on? Well, the guest will be, <laughs> will be rebroadcasting the guest at a Jeff the Invisible Man. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> we we covered some stuff there, Jeff. Today, uh, if you do watch this now, and we did uh, briefly talk about the C twenty two. I, I, st- I think that, you know, it's just ridiculous people having to wait so long just to kind of summarize everything. Uh, nobody should be living below the poverty line in Canada. We need to eradicate poverty. Uh, it's interesting how the minister originally came out where we're going to eliminate poverty at first, change the rhetoric, the, the wording of the announcement yeah. of we're going to reduce poverty. How did you go from eliminate <laughs> to reduce? Yeah. To only to a certain amount of people. Lily, uh, okay, come on, we can, we, we can, we can fix that. But that's another day, another topic we can talk on. Definitely, um, have people on the show about that one. Um, and anyway, uh, so next week, everyone, um, there might be, there might be room for, uh, actually, you know, there, there's probably room for maybe a guest if a guest wants to come on on Monday. Okay. Monday, Monday or Tuesday uh, in the morning. Um, Sure. Actually, after Tuesday, everyone, I'm actually going to be away. Um, I'm actually going to be going away um, for a little bit, a little bit of time off, a little bit of R and R from Wednesday of next week until the beginning of next. Week. Um, so probably almost a week. So if you want to come on the show, um, there's going to be a spot available this coming Monday and Tuesday, and then it'll be. I guess the next available date is so uh, we don't do nothing on Wednesdays, mm-hmm. so Thursday and Friday of, of the of the following week. So a mm-hmm. uh, little bit of a uh, little bit of breaking with Brent. Uh, and Tom. if anybody's missed any of the po- uh, podcasts, you can now listen to them on Spotify. If Spotify. you don't want to look at our nice faces. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. But you I, I appreciate it. Yeah, if, you- if if we break if we break your computer screens. With our <laughs> with our faces, you can just listen to our voices instead. Voices. <laughs> but yeah, you have to, you know, if, if you do want to come on uh, Monday and Tuesday of this coming week, Thursday, Friday of the following week, uh, we do some uh, just some just relaxing time. Uh, maybe do some breaking with Brent. I don't know some coffee time, but uh, and if not, uh, if you don't see any videos out there, I will be. I will be looking forward to having you on as a guest, whoever you may be. I I might do a short little video of my new wheelchair. I haven't done that yet. It's pretty yeah. cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I look yeah. forward to that. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Right. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in today, um, and I look forward to uh, Jeff Leggett from Disability Action Canada rejoining uh, at a future date, and we will get uh, Jeff scheduled in could be next week or it could be the week after like later next following week so Mm -hmm. yeah until then uh if you want to come on the show before i go if you want to come on the show please contact neil neil matheson one on twitter right if you're not following him i encourage you to follow him 
because you'll get you connected up with the you know with the connections to get on our show. Uh, let I'll hook you up. Oh, he'll hook you up, and then he'll let me what know what you're going to be talking about. And I look forward to having that direct discussion with you. Yeah. So thank you so much, everyone, for tuning Cheers. in. And have a great long weekend if you're if you're going away, and if you're not going away, I hear you. Um, Happy so Canada Day, by the way. Happy Canada Day. To all the, all the Canadians with disabilities, Happy Canada Day. Yes, and Happy Canada Day to all Canadians with disabilities. And if you're in the U.S., uh, well, you know, Happy uh, July the 4th Day for, for U.S. citizens with disabilities. Mm. Um, and because we unite, right? If you want to come on my show, if you're in the U.S. and you want to come on my show, reach out to Neil. Follow, uh, you're 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 going to be uh, talking to Americans on your trip, though, aren't you? Because you're you're going to be going to Oregon, so you, you can be uh, you can be doing some breaking with Brent segments, talking to Hi. Americans, he, just he just like just away. like Rick Mercer, right? Yeah, he, he gave it, <laughs> hey everyone, he gave away the he gave away the little secret. There. Oh, it was supposed to be a secret. Oh, oh no! Sorry. Oh no! It's okay. It's okay. Uh -oh. No, it wasn't a secret. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if you uh, if you want to uh, come on, uh, definitely reach out. Uh, and, uh, they don't know your uh, Twitter handle, Neil. Yeah, it's just uh, Neil Matheson one. Yeah. And it's so, the only reason there is a one there is because Neil Matheson was taken. <laughs> yeah, there you are. So, so instead there, it's Neil Matheson one. There is only one. There is, <laughs> there, only, one. There is only one important one. <laughs> there is yeah. only one. But definitely follow up and if you're if you follow Neil then you can actually because he's gonna need you to direct message him so he can communicate with you to uh send you the link to come on to the show. Mm -hmm. Definitely. But yeah, yeah. It's on you. Yeah, it, it's he uh, he opened up the, the bag. Yeah. Where are we going? <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, we're Oregon. Going, we're, we're going down. We're going down to Oregon, everybody. Um, we're the land of no tax. We're given a little gift to, to go away, so um, we're actually going to take it up on that offer and looking forward to it. Just a little bit of time away, um, and it's going to be nice. The weather's going to be beautiful, and uh, I guess I'm going to do some. I'm going to try to try and do some breaking with Brent segments. I got to make sure I use Wi-Fi down there. So I uh, yeah, yeah, that's going to. Actually, I guess I don't even have to. Um, I can send it up to uh, Wi-Fi to you. That's right. Mm. Just make sure I don't use data. Mm. No. <laughs> make sure when you're talking to people um, there, you say, how's it going, eh? Oh, I will. I will, eh? <laughs> just, keep, just keep saying that. Like, how's it going, eh? How's it going, eh? <laughs> Good day, eh? <laughs> can, I have a, yeah, can, I have a, can I have a pop? <laughs> a what? A pop? A you mean pop? you mean a soda? In a soda, <laughs> soda. No, no, a pop. You know, I don't know a beverage. A beverage. Or, or can I, you know where your washroom is? Washroom. Uh, yeah, a bathroom. Washroom, bathroom. No, no, sir. Actually, restroom. All oh, right, it's a restroom. The restroom. Yeah. They they start laughing. They they, they laugh at us because you know I go well. I mean, isn't that funny, eh? And they're like, there you go again. <laughs> And you put the R before the E. Yeah, Crazy. Like, why? 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 <laughs> it's center, not center. Yeah, not R, R, E, E, R for them. <laughs> R, not for E. Crazy yeah. Canadians. Yeah. Yeah. How is the weather up north? It must be pretty cold where you are, is it? No, I say she's pretty warm. What's, what's the temperature? Uh, I go with, what, 34? Oh my God, that's cold! Oh, <laughs> yeah. no. oh, Celsius though. Oh, Celsius. Oh, yeah, that's What's pretty. What's that? Yeah. Oh, geez, Celsius. Oh, isn't that Fahrenheit? But, yeah, I mean that's the difference between Canada and the U.S. on the uh, just the way that we announce things. Our the, the terminology. It's not our fault. It's the, fe the federal government set it all up that way. Mm. Uh, I remember when I was in elementary school, Neil, before we had the segment. I know you got to keep going here. Um, I remember just vaguely they changed the it was from Fahrenheit and they were mm -hmm. just changing it over to Celsius and so we had to learn all the Celsius and the teacher was pretty upset at the time I think because they Celsius were just, makes sense though yeah it, it just I mean 
if you say something is zero degrees, it's freezing. That makes yeah. sense. But right. if, you, if you say it's it's 32 degrees, it's like, well, what is that? You know? Yeah. Is, is, is that freezing? I don't know. <laughs> you know? like. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, the difference like the Fahrenheit and Celsius, because a lot like, of things you Like look below at, zero, yeah. below zero is freezing. And above zero yeah. means it's not freezing. I remember <laughs> one year I, went, I was down south. And uh, it was, you know, it was uh, 18 degrees. I mean, there was a little breeze blowing. I must, I must admit, like it was, it was kind of a cool breeze, really. Like it was a system coming in from a different direction, and then it started dropping down. It got down to like 14. It was like, oh man, people were bundled up there like Eskimos. Because mm. okay. you usually get to uh, it's pretty hot. Yeah. Uh, like I'll, I'll, uh, before I go here, uh, hang on. What is the temperature in New California? Do not. There is no truck. Oh. 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 You broke Google, Brent. <laughs> what is the temperature in California? Currently in Indio, California, United States, it's 42 degrees. Which is what? 42 degrees uh, uh, Celsius, which is, uh, oh my gosh, that's probably over 100, that's over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. Probably about 110, 109, 110. You mean the Celsius, you mean? And that'd be Fahrenheit, but 42 Celsius. Oh, 42 Celsius. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So you're probably looking I'm getting at, all messed up now myself. I keep flipping. Yeah, flopping. trying to calculate the difference, yeah. but. What I was told once upon a time it's it's you double double what the um, what the temperature is and add about 30, yeah. 32, like about you around know, there. I, I'm of the age where I actually used to love watching SCTV and it had Bob and Doug McKenzie and yes, they they, yes. Came, they came out with a Christmas album and on oh, yeah. that on that album one of the things was how do you, how to calculate. Um, you know how to calculate between metric and imperial and yeah. and it was like you double it and add 30 so then yeah. they, then they had to like so so uh six like or 12 12 beers yeah is uh if you double it and add 30 that's uh 42 metric beers or whatever it was you know that's pretty funny yeah <laughs> So you can you can imagine then they then they come up here and they, they say oh it's cold you know mm -hmm. Cause, yeah yeah there was a there was a gentleman that was down just came up I I saw him the other day he came up from uh, Texas they were up here visiting Victoria and they said oh it's so beautiful and he told me that it was 113 degrees oh wow I went oh my he says yeah so we're actually kind of cold right now he says it's a beautiful day here but they were going you know, they were they were bundled up because it was oh, wow. cold for them, right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but um, yeah, definitely. Uh, we look forward to having our next guest on, and mm -hmm. uh, like I say, if, you, if anyone watching this and you want to come on, if we haven't scheduled anybody else in, and there's a time slot, we'll get you on. So the next again, just to recap, Monday and Tuesday of next week, which will be the third and what date would that be next week? Let's pull my calendar. Up. So we got the uh, third and the fourth available up next week. Yeah, third and the fourth. Yeah. yeah. So it'd have to be, if you want to come on the fourth, make it the, make it the morning time, uh, yeah, the uh, Pacific Standard Time. So 9, 9.45 sign on time. So mm -hmm. 9.55, so 10, 11, 3, 12, 12, 12.55 Eastern Time. So if you want to come on on the Tuesday, no more than 12.55, because uh, I need that time to get ready and get everything all going. Uh, Monday is open. The following week will be the 13th or 14th. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll get people lined up. Okay. Yeah. I, I have got uh, some feelers out, so we'll see who responds. Sounds good. Yeah. It's good. And, well, everybody, thanks for tuning in. This has mm -hmm. been a great uh, show. It's just, you know, this is more of a one-on-one. -on -one, uh, this kind of, kind of, wing this, it, wing this it, kind of so. feels like a coffee time, doesn't it? Yeah, it's more, like more a of a coffee time. 
because <laughs> I didn't, I, I brewed my coffee. I just didn't get my coffee. There you go. And and that was Tim Hortons coffee that I brewed. Okay. Well, there you go. Yeah. Another plug for Tim Hortons. Yeah, exactly. Sponsor us, please. I, I'm using your coffee. I'm making your coffee at home. It's actually cheaper. I, I cheaper. I got a whole big can of it, and um, it's actually it tastes like just like I'm going to the store, and then you're one of your stores now. Again, this time I can just sit back and have the coffee time with Brent. Mm -hmm. So uh, and I'm just breaking breaking with Brent because I'm actually going and talking to people and hey, having the coffee. And, but that's more of a political one. People want to know the difference. That one's more, um, I'm going to like stores, checking out prices, uh, talking about food banks, mm -hmm. anything political, that's the break and break, something happened, snowstorm, whatever's going on, major, major events. The coffee time with Brent is more of just a, just kind of a relaxed atmosphere. The birds You'll time. probably do the uh, Oregon will be uh, coffee time. Oh, actually that one, actually, actually Sonia, you mentioned to me earlier, I mentioned to Neil about a new segment to do oh. about that one. Oh. You want to say it? Travel with friends. Did you hear that? No. Say it a little louder, Sonia. Sonia, a little bit louder. Travel with friends. Oh, there you go. Travel with friends. There you go. Yeah. That would be another segment. We could just do it just for the travel segments. Or you, or you, or you could, we could call it winging it with friends. Winging it. <laughs> but yeah that'd be a good one eh? the, the trouble yeah. trouble with segments and it's just just travel and it's coffee time it's kind of like yeah just casual mm -hmm. breaking with friends or uh, basically sudden things that are happening the fire and that way we've we got it mm -hmm. got it categorized yeah. see if you can find an intro for travel yeah I'll, I'll work on it yeah okay okay <laughs> yeah, she. Uh, you know that was her idea. That yeah, that's was, good. That was, uh, yeah, we, she mentioned that. So, and there's fireworks going on on the Canada Day. I don't know if I dare go down there. Yeah, I don't know. We, we're we're going to do. Okay, we'll probably over sure. probably over thirty thousand people down there. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm too old to do that stuff now. I used to go down to the Cloverdale one all the time. Oh, but it right. got it got so crowded though. Yeah. Yeah. They cut up all the buses and everything else. Mm -hmm. You had to walk like blocks and blocks and blocks to yeah. get on the bus. And, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but still, happy Canada Day to everyone. Yeah, yeah. Happy Canada Day, Neil, and happy Happy Canada Day to everybody watching this. Uh, uh, if you are, a, you know, just just enjoy the day. Just enjoy it. I mean, I don't even want to say if you're going out and celebrate it. Just enjoy it as Canada Day. Um, just watch, hey, catch up on uh, some of our segments here. That's right. Spotify, yeah. PWE Allies, look it up. Yep, take a look, uh, Google it, and uh, check it out if you have Apple. Just uh, check out the latest podcast mm -hmm. on Spotify. Yeah. And 30, 32 for, episodes and counting. 32? 32. Yeah. And, uh, and the other the other one's on the, uh, on the Google one, too, eh? The, uh, the yeah, the, the Google is coming it's not yes they haven't approved it yet so yeah so yeah stay tuned on that one when there's an update we'll keep everybody posted mm -hmm. on that we'll talk more on that about yeah. the uh, apps yeah. yeah this is exciting okay awesome. Bye, everyone. thanks everyone thanks Bye. for tuning in yeah